and uh, now you're full time bike and bike yes, also yes. so okay. i take care of uh, marketing i initially joined uh, uh, while i was looking into sales and stuff but uh, I, i mean that was a job where i couldn't really sit at one place right because even my uh, previous job uh, back in it uh, sitting at one place was just not my thing 7 years back in it you know basically trying to make my hobby a living i started off my uh, biking journey back in 2012ish so i still remember the first time my dad got me the uh, pulsar 220 he strictly said this is only for uh, college commute commute and i think that's where uh, something bit me in the wrong place and uh, said you know this is what i want to do uh, typical uh, indian parents they, they really didn't see what was coming by and uh, just went to the flow of uh, working college then post covid is when i realized uh, you know that's not what i want to continue doing right. i started my uh, venture into the enduro and adventure stuff and life became a little more adventurous there <laughs> got myself a uh, expulse because i wanted to do uh, you know more of the adventure and enduro riding right. but uh, again that bike uh, i mean it did take me places but it just didn't have the uh, the pep the pep and the punch and uh, one year from them launching the motorcycle i picked this up uh, Close to two years now. Done about fifty-eight thousand, if I'm not wrong. Nice. So it's a he or a she, Alaska. Uh, well, it's a she. The the reason, <laughs> yeah, she's been a good girl all this while. <laughs> she's taken a lot of abuse, a lot of falls. So born and bred in Bangalore. Uh, I was born in Chennai. It is a big risk. I mean, if you look at uh, look at it financially, uh, you you have a. Uh, IT job, uh, a normal test job that's paying you. You know, you know when uh, when your money is coming in. The the day you feel you're comfortable in uh, what you're uh, making out of your uh, videos, your collaborations, your rights, your sponsors. I think uh, that's the day you can finally say yes, I've made it. I I still remember when I was a kid, the Buza always. Uh, you know, I had posters <laughs> of it, the Buza and the uh, R1. Buza is not uh, the place where you can Correct. take the motorcycle. It's a nice. Uh, uh sunday bike i would say but yeah coming to a dream bike it would definitely be an adventure bike uh hopefully ktm brings in the 790 790 i think uh, coming to the spot also you would have got a little surprise why not take the road and go in here but these are the kind of places you know uh, is really away from the city uh well uh, first and foremost it's a beautiful feeling to be on the motorcycle at any point in the day at any point of the year in the month uh, but most importantly uh Uh, you know people who are starting off the motorcycling uh, uh, career or you you want to start touring on motorcycles the most important thing is uh, uh, get the uh, confidence of the parents win their attention first uh, you know when people walk into the store they uh, you know ask for accessories which they might not need so the first question i would ask them is what kind of riding do you do and in terms of riding gear yeah obviously you'll have to Uh, spend on a good helmet, jacket, pants, and you know gloves. And we have people of the other way. They barely spend anything on uh, the motorcycle and the gear, and they are all over the world. Um, so you, you were actually right. A lot of people, uh, you know, get into motorcycling, pick up a helmet, pick up a GoPro, open a YouTube channel, and post uh, just random stuff. And you you uh, tend to think that you know your channel would grow, but uh, that's now how, not how it works. While you might just have about say eight or ten k followers, they are your real followers. Yeah, yeah. A guy with two uh, million followers uh, might not even know places like this. Correct. Not so much. Which I think might have the best years. A guy with ten k followers might have all the experience. Yeah, but at the same time, you have to be safe as well, not just randomly strike conversations and give information. Because that same guy who rides the Duke One Twenty Five today might come in with the Twelve Fifty GS tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, first and foremost, uh, like we discussed, the right set of riding gear because that can save a lot of flesh, a lot of bones. Apart from that, uh, never get too violent on the road. Most importantly, uh, you have to be a little patient. Uh, patience and uh, I, I would say patience is everything in uh, motorcycling. Hashtag send it. That's my hashtag. So while I still have people who I follow and uh, you know learn the riding techniques, uh, to be uh, very honest, I've uh, not gone through any kind of training. I've just been riding with the right set of people, and uh, do never be scared of dropping a motorcycle. Yeah, I mean dropping motorcycle, <clears throat> getting injured is a part and parcel of uh, motorcycling. I mean that's when you learn uh, these mistakes, right? Uh, okay, I fell the last time this way. I should be doing it uh, the other way. uh 
last uh, two years ago when i just picked up alaska we uh, headed towards gaza mm-hmm. so we rode all the way from uh, bangalore so we looked at about 68 bhs for our roads 50 bhp is more than that riders yeah first thing is a big big uh, salute and uh, huge respect for all the uh, women bikers Canada who is you have a couple of other people around the world as well right i think it takes a lot of courage always uh, the commitment the hard work uh, look at uh, good people around you who can uh, you know support you cool nice catching up with you ajit thank same you here. so same much here. same here And we should uh, ride soon we should ride soon we've never done a ride but we should some trails some trails yeah. <laughs> don't kill yourself it's a beautiful world out there <laughs>